Hey folks, uh, Mr. Max again. So here I have this uh, tool. I'm going to show you guys that are interested in this tool. So it is a saw. I just got this this morning so I could show you how to make this thing. So it has to have this flexible, uh, you know, be flexible. So I'm going to cut this. Cut this. I'm gonna take this off. And alright, so and I'll slice a little bit of that. So uh, anyway, let me uh, set everything up and then I'll show you how I do that. Okay. So I'm ready to uh, cut this. So I have a tape. I'm gonna use that tape to guide me so I give it a straight cut all right so I'm gonna put that on um, I'm gonna do it just about like this is the one I'm using now so it's gonna be about uh, yeah about the same right. so let me hook that up Okay, I'm gonna put my glasses on. Okay, let me start doing the cutting now. So I made the cut, so I'm gonna cut, cut the, get rid of these holes, cut that, and cut this one here. Alright, so I'm gonna do that now.
so we have it this one is shorter than my the one I'm using It doesn't matter actually. Right, it's a little shorter. Okay, so uh, now what I'm gonna do. This is the side that is be, will be used to uh, to do the the application on the cars. The straight side is what will be used. This side that I had to cut. This is the side that you're gonna use to uh, like clean the, when you, you apply your Bondo. When you apply your Bondo, and let me get the putty. When you apply your Bondo, you use this. To do your mixing, your mixing, and you do this to clean the the, the putty knife. So the side, the straight side, you never use that to clean, you know, to clean that and to get rid of bondo that probably is on the on this. So the side that was cut is not straight. It has a little curve, so that's the side you know you will always use to for this purpose. You know, you don't go like that on the straight side. The straight side is the side that you have to use to apply the bondo. All right. So there is some excess steel here that I'm gonna grind off. I'm gonna grind that off, make it smooth. Make the corner, the the edge, round that off a little bit. This one here a little bit also. This one stays the way it is. Okay. So let me grind that. I'm gonna use the the little air grinder for that. mix some body filler and do my thing very easy all right so hang on there all right so I'm gonna put that new tool to work all right Now. 
So you see I'm using the side with that curve to do this. on mixing. Everything has to be right. I had someone filming this so we could get a, a close-up but uh, okay so you see um, I'm gonna start off with this area here put a little bondo on it all right so it's the bad side that there so this is the side that's straight so you're gonna hold the see that here the thumb on this side here and then you have your hand because you must be able to sometimes give it a little you know depending on what shape the panel has okay so now we're gonna go back on it so just go like that I'm pressing a little bit you're doing it you apply you apply a little bit of pressure you know so you get you don't let me clean this up you're trying to get okay try again let me try that So, I hope you guys can follow what I'm doing here. You know, go like that. Once this is uh, dried, then you're gonna come here. You will apply here now. So here I go again with the mixing. I 
think some guys they use the spreader to mix but I don't uh, when I start doing body work this is what we use to uh, mix the, the body filler so I don't I don't use this uh, to do to mix the filler Sure, everything that's uh, one one color you see, so everything will dry properly. Okay, so let me start with the application. Okay, so I'll do the same thing I did over there. So you see this thing has some curve. You have this here, then you have a line here, then you have this curve. So for newcomers, the beginners, this might be a little difficult too. But anyway, just take a look, see what I do. Okay. See, always the thumb on both sides. You hold that and this and these you know on the other side so you go you apply a little apply a little bit of pressure all right so. okay let me do that over again it doesn't look right to me So I gotta let that dry, but in the meantime, I'm gonna do this one. This one. See, this area is not a flat surface. It has lines. You know, so it's a little tricky to do this one. But, uh, but this one, I could use this actually. I could use the spreader for this one actually. Let me do that. Later, I'll come back and, and put in here. This here. So I gotta put one more here. One here. So when you use this, you don't put a whole lot of bondo uh, using this uh, technique. So I'm gonna go back to the rear to see what how things are doing here. 
it's dried. Okay, it's dried already. Uh, so let me do this here. Since I don't have as much, so I'm gonna do this. This thing here has the chip guard. The chip guard that's here, and it creates a line all the way down. I don't want to disturb disturb this line here. All right, so so that's why I don't have the bond all the way here. All right, so now I'm gonna mix some more body filler for this area here. All right, so let me do that and. Uh, We'll continue okay I'm gonna do this now okay so that's it so you're gonna go on like that or you could just do this Go back to the front. Okay, so let me do this one. Now. Always make sure you're on the straights the side that's straight. It uh, a little bit of practice to get a hold of this thing. Uh, it will take some practice. Uh, but uh, you could do it, you know. Practice and you'll get it. Um, this here, I'm going to use the, the spreader for that. I decided uh, that would be uh, what I'm going to use. I will use this to go into this groove here. Uh, so I'll use that. Alright, so put a little bit on this.
usually you don't wanna have too much body fill or dry up because this one is an expensive uh, 3M uh, body filler I use. It's easy to sand and since I'm the only one using it, I don't mind buying it. Uh, it saves me a lot of time sanding. So try to make the work easy for me. And you make the job easy. So if you have a shop full of workers, you can't afford to buy this bond out. Too much money. And the workers gonna be wasting that so <laughs> Uh, so I know about that so uh, so that's why I'm buying this body filler because it sands very easy and uh, to m it makes the job easy for me you know so uh, that's what I'm that's why I'm using it all right so let it dry a little then I'll put the few more coats and that's it. So let's give it a little dry time. Cause it's a little cold today. So you can see me and my my a little <laughs> to keep me warm so body filler takes a little time in the cold in uh, when the weather is cold. But anyway Hang on. Alright, let's mix some more here. So I gotta put a final coat on this. Always make sure you're on the straight side. Alright? So we're gonna do the last one here. You know, as I'm doing it, I'm applying a little pressure. dry so you're gonna get this but that's not it okay that's there that's done That's dry. I'm gonna make get back that hole, poke that in. So let me go to the front for this. What I did there should be dry now, so I could apply this. Let me do this. 
this one here. So this one here, I want to use the, the spreader. So I gotta let this dry, then I'll mess with that. Uh, and then I have a final coat here, like around here. Put a little bit more in this here, and that's it. Then I'll start do sanding once it's dry. Uh, this will come out easy. some more for the rear. I put the last coat put a little bit here again. When you apply, when you're using this tool, you always have to make sure that the side that you're using to apply the, the that it's clean. It doesn't have like bondo built, you know, it has to be clean. So if it's not clean, you're gonna have like, you know, like little streaks or groove in the, application so you don't want that but since I know uh, you know I'm uh, know that the amount of bond over here I, j I have just enough because I have to keep in mind that I have to sand and you're gonna sand you know you're gonna cut off uh, bundles but you know the amount that you apply or that you put on that when you start sanding you don't have to go and that you you're gonna rub out too much um, so it's it's when you look at the area that you're working on you would know how much bondo you have to put you know so you put just enough so when you do your sanding, sometimes you might have to put a little more after sanding, but uh, that happens. All right, so this one is done. Let me go to the front. Let me take this out. This one I'm supposed to clean that off.
could either use this or let me use that to clean it up. So that's that's about it. So I need to put um, to do that because I have all this bondo, and it hate I hate to throw this away, but I don't I don't need much. So I'm gonna have to throw it away. But before I do that. So, yeah, this is gonna go to waste. Can't take it. But, yeah. Okay. So, I'm almost uh, finished here. Uh, when this is dry, I'm gonna put another little coat in here, and that's it. So, that will be enough uh, body filler there for sanding. Alright. This one here is pretty much uh, waiting. Um, I'll just sand, and uh, if it needs uh, polyester putty, I'll put some. If not, primer. Right. So let me make this hole. This uh, and uh, okay, I'm putting the final coat here. You see, for this one, I'm using the spreader. I'm using this instead because this one is not going to make it. So I either use, use this or the spreader. So I could either use this also to do that. But, uh, but this one will work best on flat surface. You know, flat surface, it could have a little curve, which uh, I'm going to demonstrate on a door. Uh, show you guys how to, how to do it, you know, have a close-up uh, view of uh, I'm holding, I'm applying the pressure, and uh, so hang on there, it's coming. Alright, so I have a cheap uh, body filler that I, I'm gonna, so uh, I have a nice close up to show you guys how to, uh, how this thing is, 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 is being done. I guess with this, with this angle here you'll be able to see how it goes, alright. I'm gonna use this part over here, this cheap stuff, to uh, to demonstrate demonstrate that. So I don't, because this one is not the the best body filler, but I just use that for this for this purpose. All right, let me put that on this. Okay, let me 
get the hardener. Now you put enough hardener and you mix. Right now I don't get as much uh, cars that need a lot of bondo, like a whole panel. So I decided, okay, this is one way for me to show you guys. Because most of the cars that I have right now, it's little spots of bondo. So. ready and you see I'm using the this side the curved side the straight side is what you use to apply and you always want to have this clean you know sometimes you would run this across clear it make you know keep it clean so when you're applying the body filler, everything comes out uh, smooth. Okay, there's a call coming in. All right, so so let's say you have to put bondo on this whole area, so. You won't be able to cover the whole area at once. So you do sections, you know? You know, like. Okay, now you put your. Make sure that's the right side, straight side. So you go, you go like this. See that? You, you apply a little bit of pressure. Okay? So, as you're applying, you're looking what's happening. Alright? So, you see there is dirt. Some... Because it's a cheap... Uh, bondo. So, it doesn't matter. This is just demonstration. Alright? So, you see what you do so now you clean this area you do that get rid of that and to do this section now you're gonna wait for that to dry and then you'll come do another do another coat here on this side so I'll let for, wait for this to dry you know, if, if I have to do more work all the way here, I could start put, let's see, let me do that. But if you put in Bondo on this whole stretch, then uh, you'll do it like this. All right. I didn't come close to this, so now it's, it's going to be a little tricky. but. You know, I could handle it, but for new beginners, it will be a little different, but practice. Okay, so take a look. See that. Okay. Do that. All right. So when you do that, you do this here. So when this is dry, then you will come in the middle. And when you, you do that, you're gonna have uh, 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 everything will be like a little. It won't be as wavy as maybe if you have to use the spreader. If you have to use this, you will never get the result of what I get from using this. All right, and. Uh,
So I know I have to wait for this to dry. So once that's dry, I'll put the next one and uh, I guess that's that's what it's going to be for today. So this one I mostly use it for when I'm applying polyester putty, the putty. Then I don't use this. When I use this. You know, because all all that it, it needs is for the putty to go in the little pinholes, you know. So that's what I use this mostly for. But, uh, right. So I gotta wait for this to dry. And once it's dry, I'm gonna put a coat here. Because right now, this area here is a low spot. Because you have the bond over here, you have bond over here, and you're seeing the, the white. So I gotta make it even now. So when I go with, uh, once it's dry, I'll fill this in. And then you're gonna have a nice smooth service, not a, a wavy service. So w with this, you get a, a, a easy, smoother finish. You know? It depends on uh, a lot of the cost today. It's tricky to work on um, the steel, the steel of today's cost or not like it used to be in the 60s, the 70s, when I was growing up. The cars had a, they were much stronger. The, the steel was thicker. Now, today's car, it's not that easy to mess with uh, some, some of the panels, like a door. really tricky to work on a door now but it could be done but it takes a lot of time but that's why over here in the US they'll just replace so we got a used door or a new door shell and uh, but in countries where you can't get the new one fast they have to repair. And that's where your skill comes to, come to play. Alright. So I gotta give this a little time. Because this is not uh, a 3 amp, so it it takes longer. You know, so but it doesn't matter because this is uh, just a demonstration so I'm wasting this uh, bond so. Right. so give it a few minutes let this dry then I'll continue okay I'm gonna do this last mix So I'm doing that, like, you know, when you, you see that the clear spot, you try to, you want to get that off so it can go and mix, go into the mixture. For anything that doesn't mix properly, it's going to bubble after a while, so and that would be a problem. Gotta make sure everything is mixed properly.
between here because this is the low spot now so I'm gonna fill that in so you you always like when you're gonna put the pod the bundle on this You don't put all of it on one spot. So you spread it out a little bit to where you, you're gonna, the area that you're trying to put it on. All right, so get this again, the hand movement. Here and here. Sometimes you, you could have all the other fingers on it. As a beginner, maybe you should do that. So I just do all right, so I could start actually I don't start from here. I I would grab some of the bondo, come down, go back up, come down on the whole thing. You see that? So let me clean that back up. So, you put it on like that, spread it out a little bit. So when you're gonna start, sometimes you could put some of this on here. When you will start, you won't start like from here. Okay. So you're gonna go here, you know, a little bit here. So you could get some bondo on this, and then you will come to the top come down All right. if you see any little imperfections you could go back over it mm -hmm. and when you satisfy then that's it All right. so that looks okay already there All right, so so if somebody Wants to know to see some more of this, of uh, how to use this. You know, if you uh, request that, I will I will demonstrate that again. Because I'm gonna keep this door just for that purpose, and this and this body fill. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. So if you wanna know see more of this technique you know just let me know and i'll i'll do another video about that all right let me clean that up clean that so so that will be it for today now i have to go sand this now gonna show this maybe the sanding part I might show that so I will do that tomorrow all right so that's it for today and uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and share and press the bell and ask questions and I'll respond okay see you guys